you guys. Saying yours is live. Is mine live? Let's have a look. Saying it's live. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Say hi when you guys jump on. Yay! People are jumping on. Amazing. Cool. We are live from Peru right now. From Peru, Tarapoto. I was like, where are we? We're not really in Tarapoto, are we? Blue Lake, near Tarapoto. Yay, amazing. So Yay. cool. And we've just wrapped an incredible immersion mm -hmm. releasing into abundance. And Very it's taken deep. us a good like 48 hours to even get some words, right? It's been amazing. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We're, still, we're still integrating the whole thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's been crazy. So we just wanted to share a little bit about what went on in the jungle over the last nine, ten days. and some of the breakthroughs and some of the hey Norel <laughs> so cool to see you on I'm so glad you finally made it home after all your delayed flights right <laughs> full on to Australia yeah so we wanted to share some of the magic and and what we were doing there because um, it was the first time that we ran an event together like this and it was I mean life-changing right mm, beautiful yes yeah beautiful work. I've got all the testimonials from everyone on my phone and they're all like it was amazing. I don't have any words. <laughs> right? like, Everybody's black. Like, yeah. <laughs> it's so cool. So what we did, guys, is the event was called Releasing Into Abundance. And the intent was very much to help people shift into new levels of abundance through every area of their life. And to really allow them to go into some of the deepest, darkest places, right, in mm -hmm. their life and maybe see some things they haven't seen before and and receive some messages they haven't received before and, and really be willing to, to look at some stuff that's kind of scary for some people, right? Yes, and that medicine helps a lot. It really helps mm. them go deep and, and see themselves, reveal stuff that it's sometimes hard to see, you know, it's very subconscious. Right. So it was very deep for people, but amazing experience too lighten up yeah yeah and so there were really you know th well three core main elements it was a lot of like little things which went into the event but um, the main thing was really integrating these three elements which really help people go deep and then unleash and so the first one was sacred medicine and really working with sacred medicine in Peru all natural plant medicine and, and again helping people really go into the darkness right and, and see the things they haven't had the capacity to see and receive before and then I helped people really get into their unconscious mind and, and rewire themselves so that they can actually have these experiences but ground it into purpose and direction in their life not just go wow that was so cool like it's all so much oh my god yeah. it's amazing now what <laughs> you know and so actually help them integrate it and then obviously wampus work amazing in terms of embodying it and like working deep within the organs and you know shifting stuff that's been there for like lifetimes in yes. some cases right yes. Beautiful to watch people wake up and the next day they're integrating, they're assimilating the work, they're really yeah. feeling it into their bodies so they can go out and share it after to the world. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then there were so many other things like a special diet that everyone was Oof. on. <laughs> no salt, we're, no sugar, no We're chocolate. really happy. We've got like juice. We're like juicing out right now. We're like, oh my God, like sugar. <laughs> right? No sex, like oh nothing. My God. Anything good, yes. just you weren't allowed it basically. No, no coffee. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I know. It was nuts. And um and obviously the environment, like we were deep in the jungle and I mean I don't want to show you guys my feet because they're so covered in mosquito. Eaten alive. <laughs> It's not even funny. It's like they just love my ankles apparently. But you know, even these little things, if you add it all together, it's it's super challenging for a lot of people. And um and really makes them grateful, I think, for the little things in life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And now we're going to Europe where there's no mosquitoes. So, so that's happy. really good. I'm so happy we fly out to mm. Ibiza tomorrow and then to Barcelona and no mosquitoes. I'm like celebrating. <laughs> <laughs> I know, it's the best, it's yeah, the best. And what, really good. what do you think was, was your biggest kind of breakthrough or takeaway that you want to share with these guys? Because we were very much in the immersion with everyone, so we were holding the space for the tribe collectively and, and doing our individual work so that together, you know, we knew that the deeper we went, the deeper the tribe was going to go. So we, like, we were in it the whole time as well, right? Yes, 
that was that was good. People knew that when we went into the sessions with the shamans of the medicine, we were out. We wouldn't hold the space because we needed our own transformation in medicine too. And for me, it was it was crazy, like seeing the whole vision of of my life and how it's evolving and what's my the vision of my vision, you know, the yeah. work we're doing in the world and how it's affecting people and how it's this online work we're doing right now is all these online courses are just going through so many breakthroughs for so many people and mm. that's my biggest call right now. Like yeah. Not only the live events we're doing but the, the online, that's what's really, really calling me. So I saw everything for mm. me it was the vision of the whole world being awakened by, by the work we all do. It's very, yeah. very beautiful to see amazing so cool and I mean there was so much for me as well but I think one of the things um, well one of the intentions that I went into the event with was very much looking for looking for a shift that I needed you know I felt that the last six months of my life have been amazing but I've been kind of um, in the same place a little bit and, and I've been really looking you know left right and center for something to elevate and up level and shift and really like flip me into that next place um, as I know so many of you guys will resonate with watching this where you feel like there's so much more and you know you really want to live into your potential and so yeah for me it was it was really massive having the experiences and, and again going into the darkness and allowing myself to really connect with nature that was a really big thing that came up for me and you know understanding nature and how she works and how abundant she is but also what frequency she taps into and then understanding how easy it is for me to tap into that frequency as well so you know everyone in my masterminds and you know my inner circle and all that you guys the trainings coming your way are just gonna like blow you up <laughs> it's just so cool because for me it was like wow this is so simple but I, I hadn't had the capacity to see it and embody it before and that was the big thing I kind of knew it like consciously in my mind but it wasn't in my body and you know so much of your work helped me with that and really like having these experiences and going wow like okay I see where I need to go and I see what I need to do but but really using the breath work and the alchemy and you know again getting into the organs and shifting all this stuff and and using that to become one with that instead of just like having it as an idea or a goal right yeah yeah yes no super important and then how you share it with the world, right? You make the shift and then you see how it creates, the ripple right. effect that it creates in the world. And, yeah. And how we're so connected to nature and we're like messengers from nature. It was exactly. so beautiful to see like how she's telling us like all the time, so many messages out there for us. And yeah. we're just not listening. We're just not accessible. We're not, not present. Aware. We're not aware. We're too much in our minds, you know? Right. So when you go deep into the medicine, you're like really opening that space and that mm. accessibility to, to, to listen to the messages, to listen to your guides, to listen to, to what's next, what's the next step so you can follow from your soul and not from your mind and not right. from your ego trying right. to run away or trying right. to react or trying to, you know, it's, it's from your heart, it's from your soul. And, and that's what's, what, what it's all about. When you can do that, then you're just flowing in life. You're, you're synchronized with life. Exactly. It's, it's beautiful. Exactly. And yeah, that was a really big for me um, through the experience and, and this, this kind of concept kept coming to me about manufacturing stuff. So really looking at going, you know, am I manufacturing my life or am I allowing my life to flow through me? Am I actually surrendering to what needs to come through me and just really being humble enough to be this vessel and be this messenger rather than again ego going, oh, I'm going to create this and that and, blah, 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 and kind of, you know, like manufacture stuff. And you guys would have heard me if you've done any work with me talk about this in content like I'm so big on like don't manufacture your content it needs to come through you like trust and listen but for me it was looking at okay how do I now do this in every area of my life how do I quit manufacturing relationships and allow them to flow through me how do I quit manufacturing abundance and let it flow through me it was like every little area it was like click 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 oh what's going on on that we've got two live no, streams going <laughs> they say it's you can't see it for some reason oh, they, they have so their, their necks turned or something oh Oh, strange okay yeah. well maybe going, it'll flip around <laughs> you guys can't see there's another camera like <laughs> going crazy over here <laughs> but yeah that was that was really big for me and just really looking at you know where am I manufacturing um, from a place of ego versus where do I need to really just shut up and surrender and listen and trust and and then take action from that place and for me it was so special um, with the tribe and the people we had there I mean everyone like literally every single person at this event blew my freaking mind yes. like just their ability to really put their shit aside and commit to the work and commit to the alchemy and go into 
some really terrifying places for some of them, you know, yeah. and it's like they were all just such warriors, right? They were all such light warriors and so committed to truth and so committed to abundance and really making this world a better place. And I know collectively what's been set up in that tribe, I'm just like, pfft, like nuts, right? Yes. Yeah. It's it's beautiful to see like their commitment to the work, their alchemy. Yeah. How how because it's not easy to go into your dark it's places, not. you know? It's not really easy. Not. We're all just faking Super it scary. and we're all just in the surface. And when you go deep and see like traumas you've had and stuff you're carrying around, stuff you don't want to see, we're kind of running away from it all the time. Yeah. So for us to confront it and see it and love it mm -hmm. and let it go, it's not easy. But then you're so light, you're so open and right. that's that's the whole evolving we, we saw in the group there no. right like from the beginning it was before and after the event their lives is like really before and after yeah so much change and so much light coming through I know mm -hmm. it was amazing and the because um, we're running another one of these immersions in October in Peru and it's already 50% filled and booked out and um, I, I know you know the people that are booked and coming through to that it's like it's the same same it's like oh my god like these people are amazing they're so committed to the work I'm just so excited yeah. I'm like we're about to leave Peru and I'm like so excited to come back yeah, already in October <laughs> and it's gonna be in the sacred valley near Machu Picchu yeah. and Pisac and all these beautiful less places less mosquitoes right less mosquitoes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes it's gonna be so beautiful we like, can't wait to come back throwing an end time mosquito party. I think one of the mosquitoes were one of my biggest lessons. It was literally like, <laughs> yeah. like surrender to nature. You have no control over this. Like this is your medicine right now. Your feet need to itch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. It was crazy. I know. It was crazy. They keep telling me to put it in vertical. All right. We're trying it's, to fix the I don't know why stream, it's guys. not. We're but yeah. Running. Keep on going. Hey James. I love Peru. This is so inspiring. Amazing. Totally. You should come and join us. Come and join us in October. If you guys, you need to flip it, I think, in your backwards. How's that? There, there we go. go. Okay. What's up? What's up, Wampus live stream? Hey, hey guys. hello, everybody. <laughs> okay, there awesome. you go. Tech challenges solved. Nice. Um, yeah, if you guys are feeling called, if you want to come play in Peru, if you really feel like you're ready to go deep into this, just send us a message and let us know why, and we can give you the application process and how that all works. But yeah, it's amazing. It's amazing how the right people just show up in the space, right? Yes. The medicine calls you. You know. Yeah. You know when you're ready. Yeah. I resisted doing this work for nearly five years. Yes. Right? It was crazy. Oh, yeah. Like, I could feel it calling, but I was so stuck in fear. I was like, oh, God, that seems like the scariest thing in the world. Like, how am I going to survive? Like, you got to be ready. Stories. you got to be ready. You do have to be ready. And that's the thing. I wasn't really ready to play at that level. And... Yeah, it was like end of last year, right? When we yeah. were chatting and I was like, I'm ready to go. I'm <laughs> like, I'm here, I'm ready. I can feel yes. it. Like it's happening next year, it's on. And um, yeah, so so sacred and so special to share in the space with uh, with you obviously and with the tribe and yeah, it was amazing. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It loving it, beautiful. loving it so much. Here in the lake of Blue Lagoon, you can see Jet the stuff all. happening around. <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's so beautiful. Look at so many people hey from guys. all over oh, the Anna, world. Anna, I can't wait to see you. Yeah, Anna, Yay. Vaishnavi, Josian, Anna Louise. Great to see you guys. So many beautiful If people. you guys have any questions for us, you can type through. You can ask us anything about Peru, about the... Hey, Mandy, great to have you on. About the immersion, yeah. about the medicine, anything. Hey, Noral, anything that you guys would, um, would love to ask us, feel free. Yeah, we're um, here. We're open books. We are hey. right here. We have a little bit of time before we need to go and catch our flight. Yes. But it's honestly, you know what? I wanted to do this live stream days ago, but I just haven't had words. Like the integration process has been so full on and yeah. um, <laughs> right, so intense. And like when we when we actually left the jungle, we were sitting in the car and the driver was driving us to this resort so we could unwind for a few days. We literally just sat there in silence, right? Just like looking at each other, just like... <laughs> no words. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pure light in your light in your eyes, you know, in your heart, and right. it's just so much love, so much love. Oh my God! When you let go, when you release, there's so much love coming through you guys. Like really, every time, everything it, it hurts to let go, but when you really yeah. let go. It's just so revealing. It feels so good. Science. It feels so good in your body. You want to share so much with the world. Right. 
from a real authentic place, not right. not from a place of of of, of masking or it's no, no. authentic realness. Exactly. So nice. Exactly, and I think you know one of the big things for me because obviously you open up your vision and you see so much and you receive so much and it's it's almost overwhelming, right? It's like oh my god, like yes. this is so much, it's crazy, and then you don't you remember everything, but then more keeps coming to you over the next few days. Like oh yeah, there was that, and there was that, and there was that, and there was that. But the biggest thing for me is that regardless of the medicine, you know, realizing that it's really all within you you know you're only seeing what is within you you only totally. have the capacity to see what's already there right it's nothing outside there's nothing external and we spend so much of our lives looking outside for the answers and and searching and grasping and oh maybe this relationship will make us feel better or this money will make us feel better or this experience or this or that and then when you realize it's all here it's like oh <laughs> right yes. it's all inside it's i was all looking there. for right and it's just <laughs> tapping into that and realizing yeah. that and seeing that and then obviously i'm Unleashing that and living into that, which is what the whole retreat was all about. Yes. Um, so Steph says, hey, what medicine is it that you're talking about? So we're talking about sacred plant medicine in Peru. Do you want to give a quick overview? Yeah, this is ayahuasca. It's medicine has been Why used not? for uh, for many things and it just brings up stuff from inside. It uncovers it's from a it. Vine, right? It's from a vine and uh, and uh, and a leaf that they mix it. We cook it ourselves. It's really simple. And mm -hmm. you take a little bit, and then you're all night just releasing stuff and singing and praying and in a very close circle with 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 medicine people from the zone. And then there's another that's a cactus that's called Wachuma. That's also very empowering. It really connects you to nature and to your authentic self. Yeah. So it's beautiful. It just um, takes you to the heart and yeah. it reminds you that state it's, it's all about how Regan is saying it's not that the medicine you need it or you're addicted to it actually it releases addictions because yeah. it connects you to your heart and to your to natural you. state of being right. and when you're in your natural state of being you remember that after so you don't need the substance that's what it's all about we don't need anything it's right. all inside exactly. and then you just tap into it wherever you are wherever you go there it is yeah it's a state it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. And there were like three or four other, you know, different herbs and medicines that we were using as yeah. part of the process as well. And there's a lot available and a lot of it is listening to whether you're called to it or not. Or, um, yeah, so there's, there's lots, there's, there's a big mix of alchemy and, but the key thing is as well is that um, it's done in a really sacred way. You know, there's there's a lot of people out there, um, even in Peru, that are kind of being irresponsible, I, I believe. A lot. <laughs> a lot. And, you know, people that are saying they're shamans and this and that. And, like, you know, just one night, hit the medicine, leave. like, And it's just really not about that. You yeah. know, it really needs to be treated with so much respect. And it is yeah. a sacred ritual. And you're calling in so much. And... You know, we had these beautiful grandmothers from Peru with us that have, you know, literally mm. lived in the jungle and tribes their whole life. They're over 65. Like it was, it was just so sacred and, and so special. And and especially the diet as well, like making sure you're eating plants when you're receiving the medicine too. Like there's so many little things that come into it. Yeah, so everything. Yeah, it just felt really good to um, to do it the right way, <laughs> to do it properly. Yeah. Even though it takes a little bit longer, you gotta you know eat a little bit more food, which isn't so great, and you know yeah. it's like there's a little bit more painful maybe, but you get amazing it's results. It. It's worth it, and it's you're it. really doing it in a respectful way. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, totally cool and interesting, amazing. Yeah, now now you know you can hear around ayahuasca out there that people are dying and all these things happening. It's just because of this irresponsibility. It became yeah. it became a, a fashion you know it became a fashion that everybody is like into it and anybody does it, it it's not about it it's a ritual right. that has been passed for ages and these tribes have been doing it all their lives and yeah. they pass it on like with all the, the whole thing it's not just drinking the medicine it's, right. it's everything that happens the songs they do how they protect you the amount you take how they prepare so it. much that goes it's into it everything yeah. now it's it's like like yoga like everything is a fashion everybody does <laughs> yoga everybody does medicine everybody that's not the the way it is this is tradition this is right. ancestral lineage that's yeah. been passing on and on yeah so it's beautiful to see one from the root from right. the core received yeah. from there we're just so humble and, de and devoted yeah. to this uh, to these families to these people to this mm. to these communities right. amazing so cool yeah. Babby's on you're coming in October she says oh my god can't wait yeah so excited for you I can't wait to have you in the space it's so perfect Catherine says where are you now where are we we're like an hour from Taranpato yeah. Tar <laughs> <You say> it. <laughs> in Peru. It's called Blue Lagoon. As you can see, it's a beautiful blue lagoon. Yeah. And um, we're like an 
like three hours from Lima. Uh -huh. We're flying in a little bit. We're yeah. just saying goodbye through this video and yeah. ready to go. But we are very close to the jungles of the Amazons, actually. Yeah. We're like one hour away. Yes. That's where we were doing the medicine. Yes, amazing. And then yeah. we fly out to Ibiza tomorrow, which is amazing. Oh, thank you. Yes, tomorrow we'll be going off in Ibiza, Ibiza. and maybe doing a live stream from there. Yeah, a couple of weeks there, then Barcelona. Yes. And then we're going go to teaching in oh, Barcelona. No, we're going to go to San Diego. Yes, and Colorado, we'll be around Colorado if right. you're from there. Come see us in Hanuman Festival, we'll be teaching there too. Yeah. Awesomeness Fest in Ibiza also will be there. Yes. Oh, and, the, and the, the work, whoever wants to do the work, I've got a lot of tips now from, from all these people from Peru. The 21 days, the right. detox journey, we're mm. starting a, a, a 21 days um, detox journey together. In, showing like videos and diet and all kinds of smoothies and and anything we can um, share with you to go deep with us and, and let go like release in so many ways so that's something also that's accessible to you if you want to do it yeah. online we're gonna be just traveling but we'll be sharing videos and information all over the place